I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media. Thank you for joining us today. Emergent Metals has discovered a new copper porphyry and scarn exploration target at its New York Canyon property in Nevada. The property, located in the Santa Fe Mining District, Mineral County, about 30 miles east of the town of Hawthorne, covers approximately 8,700 acres. Exploration activities on the property are being carried out by Kennecott Exploration Company, which has three options to earn up to a 75% interest by completing exploration activities of $22.5 million U.S. on the north and south blocks, having completed approximately $5.24 million U.S. to date. The new discovery at the Emma Exploration Target in the north block is about 1,650 meters long and 1,400 meters wide and is open in all directions and is one mile south of the historic Santa Fe mine. Emma was identified by a combination of rock chip soil sampling and UAV orthophoto survey and a UAV magnetic geophysical survey done by Kennecott as part of its annual exploration work completed at New York Canyon in 2022. This is in addition to three known copper porphyry and scarn exploration targets located on the south block four miles to the south. The geology at the Emma Exploration Target is similar to the Copper Queen, Longshot Ridge and Champion Exploration Targets where copper scar and mineralization is present in Mesozoic limestone including looning formation. David Watkinson, President and CEO, has joined us today to discuss the company and this news. Welcome David. Uh, My name is David Watkinson. I'm President and CEO of Emergent Metals Corporation. Uh, We're a Vancouver uh, public company. We trade under the symbol EMR on the Toronto Venture Stock Exchange. And uh, our business model is acquisitions and divestitures. Uh, You can think of us uh, like a company that does uh, house flipping that you might see on television, but we do it with mining properties. So we look to do strategic acquisitions of properties. We look for properties that are adjacent to uh, existing uh, mining operations or advanced stage projects, or we look for projects that are uh, have a lot of historic data. The company has and maybe is looking to sell in a down market, uh, and uh, then we try to add value to those projects through exploration, and eventually try to divest to them uh, uh, through uh, strategic uh, uh, divestitures, sales joint ventures or other types of uh, mining transactions. Uh, We've been fairly successful in doing that over the last couple of years. And uh, the property I'd like to talk to today uh, to you about is New York Canyon, uh, which is located near Mina, Nevada. So we had acquired it uh, from a company called Searchlight Resources. And uh, um, we, uh, right after acquiring it, we ended up doing a option uh, to uh, joint venture with Kennecott Exploration. Kennecott Exploration is a subsidiary of Rio Tinto uh, PLC, which is one of the largest mining companies uh, uh, in the world. Uh, so uh, Kennecott uh, Mining Company operates the Bingham Mine in Utah, uh, where they have a smelter. And they're obviously looking for uh, copper projects uh, in the United States uh, that may ultimately add to uh, their portfolio or potentially uh, replace uh, the Bingham open pit mine in Utah, which at some point is going to come to the end of its life. It's a, a mine that's been operating for many, many years uh, as an open pit uh, copper mine. Uh, you know, it's getting to a point where uh, it's getting close to the end of its life. So they came in with an option to joint venture with us on New York Canyon. They're going to spend $22.5 million U.S. Uh, over a period of years to earn up to 75% interest. So They started working on the project in 2021 and uh, did uh, drill 10 uh, deep core holes on the southern block of our property uh, where there's three known exploration targets called Copper Queen, Longshot Ridge, and Champion. So those are copper porphyry targets uh, and copper scarn targets. uh, And uh, they certainly hit mineralization and plan to continue on drilling on the southern target and plan to drill uh, there in the first quarter of this year. The exciting news that we just put out is they 
uh, drilled on uh, Northern Bloc claims we have that hasn't been explored before. Uh, so they uh, did the surface sampling, rock chip sampling and soil sampling in 2022. And they did uh, uh, a drone orthographic survey and a drone magnetic survey. And the uh, uh, rock chip samples in particular came back with some very good results. Uh, they took 41 samples, uh, 20 of those samples had grades greater than 1% copper. Uh, the average grade was 1.735% copper. Uh, they had good silver. The average silver result was 39.74 grams per ton, which is over an ounce per ton silver. And they also had other metals like gold, zinc, and lipid, and other things that are byproduct metals. So um, we're very excited about discovery on that northern block it claims it's never been explored before uh, it shows potential for another porphyry and sparn uh, target and they're planning to drill that in the first quarter of uh, 2023 also so uh, and you know the the project uh, for us we ha- you know think has potential to be a, a company maker uh, you know if they're successful in their exploration and carry on and ultimately uh, begin to define uh, resources and, and uh, uh, you know, advance the property. So it's going to be a large uh, copper porphyry scarn system. So you're looking at something that's hundreds of millions of tons of copper potentially uh, that uh, we hope will, will ultimately lead to a large deposit they pursue in the future. So you know, it's early on in exploration, but uh, it's exciting so far. Thank you, David. 20 of 41 rock chip samples taken had grades of 1% copper or greater. Three samples had grades of 1 gram per ton gold or greater. 15 samples had grades of 10 grams per ton silver or greater. Note that one part per million equals 1 gram per ton of gold or silver. Significant soil samples of 500 parts per million copper or greater from this field work are shown here. 17 of the 41 soil samples had grades of 500 parts per million copper or greater with five samples at 1,000 parts per million copper or greater. Four samples had grades of one gram per ton silver or greater. Note that 10,000 parts per million copper equals 1% copper. As part of their work in 2022, Kennecott permitted upgrading of existing access roads, new road construction where needed, and construction of nine drill pads under a notice of intent, which allows for drilling in 2023 on the North Block with a focus on the Emma exploration target. Kennecott plans to initially test a target to the southeast of the Copper Queen area, where in January 2022, Hole 8 reported an intersection of 101.89 meters of 0.35% copper equivalent, including 17.14 meters of 0.734% copper equivalent, 4.76 meters of 0.783 copper equivalent, and 3 meters of 1.062% copper equivalent. It is believed the Copper Queen deposit deposit may be extending to the southeast with increasing grade and drilling is planned to test this theory. In Nevada, Emergence Gold Arrow property, the core asset of the company, is an advanced stage gold and silver property with a well-defined, measured, and indicated resource. The Mindora property is a gold, silver, and base metal property located 12 miles from New York Canyon. Buckskin Rawhide East is a gold and silver property leased to Rawhide Mining operators of the adjacent Rawhide Mine. In Quebec, the Casa South property is an early stage gold property adjacent to Hecla Mining Corporation's operating Casa Berardi Mine. The Tresessin property is located about 50 kilometers north of the Val d'Or mining camp. Emergent has a 1% NSR in the Troilus North property, part of the Troilus mine property being explored by Troilus Gold Corporation. Emergent also has a 1% NSR in the East West property, owned by O3 Mining Corporation and adjacent to their Marban property. Note that the location of Emergent's properties adjacent to producing 
or past producing mines does not guarantee exploration success at emergence properties or that mineral resources or reserves will be delineated. The shares are trading at 33 and a half cents. For more information about the company and its other projects, please visit the company's website, emergentmetals.com. Contact David G. Watkinson, President and CEO at 530-271-0679, extension 101, or email info at emergentmetals.com. I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media.